Hello and welcome to another episode of The Weekend Show, starring Curtis. Now, we haven't done one of these in a while. What episode is this number? 11? That dumb on a bullshit. I haven't done one of these in, like, I don't even know how long. I think last time that we had uh, Casey come over, which was in March. So we're doing one of these videos now. I think this series is becoming more of, like, when I have people come over type series. I feel like it's supposed to be, like, sort of that kind of show that's, like, a talk show, conversation, like, question asking a show, because if I'm just sitting in the chair beating myself to be like, seems legit, it's like a four minute video where we do this, we can make a better video, we can have better quality stuff. So, without anything else, we're going to get into the video, so get ready for a special conversation. Hello, and now we are at the sitting down segment, a segment that I think that I like better. <laughs> so, this weekend's special guest is the weekend's um, basement. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> Here he is for you guys. Um, hello, welcome, welcome to the show. <laughs> you idiot. Um, speaking of the weekend, what did you thought about the weekend's haircut? Somebody, it's like he had an afro, right? And he just like cut big chunks out of it, and then put rubber bands on the chunks of it. So he had like a big afro, and he just like took scissors and just like cut out random chunks. And then he's like, you know what? I'm gonna put a rubber band on this part, and this part, and this part, and this part. That's dreadlocks. I got dreadlocks here. He cut segments of afros out and put segments of afros. So, uh, we haven't had one of these videos in a while. You haven't been over in about a month. So what's really changed for you in your YouTube career? Nothing. <laughs> okay. So, um, tell us about how your life has changed over the past month. Tell us something interesting that you've done over the past month, I guess, since we've last done one of these videos. Uh, it's not... Uh, he, he texts his girlfriend, he's nuts. <laughs> um, nothing much interesting to go on. Uh, yeah. Illuminic? Why don't you tell the uh, viewers about the Illuminate then? There's this girl, girl on our uh, only team. You, you've you've heard her be mentioned many times. Yeah. Amber. Yeah, she, she was. But, uh, she, uh, we had... Wow, I just looked at this thing up here. It says Colorado. Colorado's license plate would be green. Okay, carry on. <laughs> we had, um... Her and Nick go to the to the bowling uh, yep. community shit, and um, it's a public place. Anybody can be there. I can invite um, five Mexican friends and two Asians, and they can show up fine. So I mean, you know, I can invite anybody that I want. Yeah. So I can so, invite Juan. I can invite Kevin. You know. You no know person named Juan. Uh, I wish I did though. So. Uh, you want some tacos? <laughs> so, um... For any wands out there that don't like tacos. This is, um... Girl Amber. Yeah. Her, uh... Grandma, mother, and... Uh, mother. Mother in. Come on, I mean... I think they have... They, those two have a good thing. Some, uh... Lesbian incest. But, um... Other than that, Nick came to the bowling. <laughs> Nick came. <laughs> right if you said, right if you said that Nick came. Not like that. He he, he might have he after arrived. He might have after though. He arrived. He went home and came. He came home. He arrived <laughs> he at came the bowling home. alley. And uh, he, he arrived at the bowling alley. I like how you changed it. Amber <laughs> got mad because um. 
For her, it's always that time of the month. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, it's not as easy because she thinks that our bowling was just uh, so bad. had to be amazing every single now, week. Now, here's the thing. For me and Casey, his average score is 120. My average score is 119. That might change after this week. Um, either way, her handicaps are 72. Her average score is 107, and her handicap is over 9,000. <laughs> no, her handicap is like, what, 86? Something like that? Uh, yeah. 83, 86, something like that. So it's close to more than 10 pin difference. And she's getting mad at us because we have one week of doing bad. She's like, oh, Nick shouldn't be here. He's not allowed to be here. Bitch, he can be here whenever he wants. Yeah. And, uh, so, I mi or Curtis missed a nine. He, he threw a nine, he missed one pin. Yep. Um, and he... We went over and talked to Nick. Nick always, like, blames stuff on him. So we yeah, it's, it's sort of like Nick. a thing that we have, like, I just blame him for everything. And, uh... I mean, I'm just messing around, it's not really his fault, but I'm just like, Nick, it's your fault. So. Yeah. I mean, I'm cool with Nick, I don't have a beef with him. So he, uh, walks over and says... Nick, it's your fault. Yeah, Nick, it's your fault. And then when you're talking about the Illuminati... I don't, I don't know how the Illuminati came into this, but um, it's all that. okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the Illuminati the confirmed. Illuminati it's okay. Illuminate, and then uh, Amber got mad. And, uh, yeah. That day on, she was no longer grabbable. Grabability. Oh, you didn't tell about the grabability either. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't, you didn't mention that in a video. Last week, or last talk show. You didn't mention grabability. Yes, I did. You didn't explain yeah, it. Yes, because I... You said, what's the, um, favorite moment? And I said... Oh, yeah. Uh, so why don't you just explain that again for people that didn't tune in that week? I'm sure they tuned in that week. I'm sure they didn't. People were going to tune in to the last video. What if someone just stumbles <laughs> upon this video all of a sudden and they don't want well, to the rest they won't watch, like, the 11th episode of it. I would go back and just watch the first episode of 1 to 11. Why do you tell me? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't watch any of your videos either. Uh, this is how it is. Like, we've been each other's videos, but we don't, like, watch each other's videos because we're having end half of them anyways. Like, I guess that's sort of how it is. Like, we don't really need to watch each other's videos. Because we... I'm in a lot of your videos, as you know. Because you make them. And you're in a lot of mine, so... I think that's sort of why, like... I don't really care if you don't watch my videos. I'm not going to be like, Casey, you watch my video right now. The only one that I think you should watch is Video 3000. Because... You didn't do anything with that video. I mean, you're in clips of it, but you're not like actually. Wait, like, what? You're in clips of that video. How many clips of it? I wasn't even. In the, I wasn't even there. If you listen to when I explained how I was making it, you would have known why you're in clips of it, Casey. Oh well, I, I don't pay attention. Video three thousand was one of my favorite projects to do, which I did last weekend. Um, no, but I think video three thousand was really. My first step to, like, a major event that I didn't really do something with everybody else, and I didn't really make it, like, a overly in-your-face type thing. That's sort of the same thing, though, with Year 3 video, you know? I didn't do, like, a big thing. It was just Casey came over and we talked for, like, 11 minutes, and that was it, you know? That's the same with the other thing, where Video 2000, I had everything. We had cupcakes. We had small light of candles that were put up on switch. We did everything. We had the toll fund. Um, <laughs> we had the toll fund. Here's the toll fund. What? Great. Uh, yeah, but we had cupcakes, candles, the toll fund. We did everything for a video th 2000. Video 3000, I took clips from each uh, year. So I took two clips from 2012. Three clips in 2013, two clips in 2014, and two clips in 2015. Um, what I mean, clips of videos. I cut out different segments of them, put them into the video, and that was uh, the video. And then there's little segments of me talking about each year, saying something about different YouTube videos. So that was that video. So that was the first time I sort of did. I didn't make it like a big thing, like, you know, what's happening in a week from now? Video 3000. Like, I didn't really mention it. I mentioned it, like, maybe one other time. Did my whole videos. Like, you knew about it, obviously. Mm -hmm. 
But I didn't really go through and talk like, it's video 3000. It's coming out in one day. Because then that's will just take up space to upload the video. So, it was fun to do. Definitely fun. Um, I enjoyed doing the thing. You know, so you're in one of the clips. I, I think you might be in two or just one. I'm not sure, but I know that you're in a video. But, yeah, so we did that. Um, anything else you want to talk about for your channel? Uh, what? Do you have anything you want to talk about for your channel? Um, I'm, my camera's currently broken, so that's why I'm not posting videos. Other than that, um... Once he gets a new camera, I yeah. guess. And also, for those of you wondering, which I don't think you really care, but the tripod this camera's held on is actually Casey's tripod, which I will be using for the time until he gets a new camera, because my tripod, if I grab it over here, one of the legs, this one, it, the whole thing is like, the thing that is both the, like, um, really part, totally messed up. See, I can just put it on, slide like that. So anytime that I move it, with it on here, it doesn't do it, so, it has some issues. It doesn't happen during the videos, but it's very annoying. So I'll just be using Casey's tripod. No real difference, you know. It might actually, the camera might actually stay more straight because... Yeah, uh, the little knob under the... Under there. Holds it tighter. Holds it yeah, tighter. no, I mean, that one does too, but I mean, like, it'll keep it more straight because I noticed that that one, it's a bit more difficult to move so you can get it more balanced with that one there. You move it a bit easier like this or like this. One of the things I do want to talk about for videos, though, I do different die-cast reviews, and I get a bunch of old cars from... What, 2002? Oh, that's really old. My dad has some of those still. Yeah, I got some 2002 cars, 2001 cars here. Uh, we got Bobby Levante, Interstate Battery. We got uh, Terry Levante. I was in your 2002. Let's move this out of the way, actually. Where'd you get these? Uh, these here are my mom's cars that she's had for years. The only difference in these videos compared to, want to grab that car over there, Casey? I'm the only thing. Yeah. The little difference between that compared to this car here is that these ones here we can't open. Because these ones here are like, you know, sort of collectible type items where if you open it, it loses its value. Exactly. Where's this one here? First of all, this one here is made so much better. You can hear when I hit the plastic. I mean, first, I can't even hit the car. But, you know, they're like made so much better, these ones here, anyways. Plus, this one here I can go to the store and get in a few years that I open this car? Probably not. But I've got a few on the wall that I'll keep anyway, so you want to put them back over there. Uh, we've got Bobby Labonte, we got Terry Labonte. Uh, we got this one here. Try me. 2002 Jimmy Johnson. I actually have this one here from the California Speedway. 50 miles from Los Angeles. Someday I'll go to that race. Uh, but this one here, you can actually spin the car and you can see all the hazards. So when I say that, I'm like, that's pretty awesome. Uh, what else did we have? Um, I like this one here. We got the. Uh, Jeff Gordon 24 Star Wars Episode 1 Pepsi car. Last episode. <laughs> the next episode. <laughs> now, as Casey might have seen different, well, he's seen different Jeff Gordon cars, that's for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, he has something wrong with him. I know he has a Pepsi car, we've seen it there, but. Oh, uh, listen here, one of my favorite drivers, Tony Stewart. Well, I do like Jeff Gordon. I like Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart. I did. Terry Labonte was actually my first favorite driver. I like Terry Labonte. Uh, so when he was. Well, he drove off and on, but. I liked him in about 2002, 2003. Then I liked Tony Stewart. He was my, like, favorite driver for years up until I stopped watching NASCAR in about 2010. I liked him from 2005, 2010. Now I like Kyle Larson. So I started watching him in 2014. Uh, but this here is the number 20. Uh, Home Depot Coca-Cola car, so we see Pepsi and Coca-Cola here. Um, Jeff Gordon, 2001 champion, DuPont car. Speaking of championship cars, I might be getting the number 4 Kevin Harvick championship. Speaking of Kevin Harvick, the number 25, uh, good wrench, number 29, good wrench service car from 2002. It doesn't have the rookie stripes on it. 
so I think this is 2002. Um, that was his first full season. I mean, his first like full season running every race. Uh, we got Dale Jarrett, number 88. It was 2002. Yeah. Uh, we got probably also 2002. This is Ward Burton Cat Truck Engine dot com car. So I'm making a review of all these videos. Uh, make a video of all these. The number 31 Robbie Gordon Singular Wireless Car, which is now AT and T, which is now not a sponsor. This is just showing off the or this is just turning into a show off podcast. Mm -hmm. We'll sort of like a preview thing. Um, this here is the number 24. Um, 200 years of DuPont car. Um, we got the number 40 Sterling Marlin car. Sterling Marlin. Oh, this one here doesn't have anything on it because it's a beer sponsor. They don't do beer sponsors. I've gone over 5 million times in my YouTube videos. And then finally, we got the Bush series number 3. Nutella Wafers Carve Dylan Hart Jr. and the number three Bush Series Oreo Ritz Car of Dylan Hart Jr. So those are all the cars that we will be reviewing. Um, so make sure you look out for them. Uh, they'll be definitely fun to do. And um, of course, make sure you watch out for the 2015 diecast review, including the one over there, the uh, Number 88, Mountain Dew car, if you want to go to one. This is it, so this is the number 88, no, actually this is 2014. This is the number 88, is this 2014? Yeah. This is the number 88, Dale and Hart Jr., uh, Diet Mountain Dew car. So we got that one there to review, which will be open. This one will be open, you can check it out. There it is, so uh, thank you guys for watching. We will see you tomorrow.